Hey, what's up guys? So as I'm sure you know, there's a new Saw movie coming out, Saw 10 or Saw X, and I think the trailer is looking pretty good. They got some good music in it and everything. And in anticipation for this new entry, we'll look at the previous ones and count down the most evil traps. Saw 3, the pig vat. Drowning sucks. It's a lot of people's worst fear, and rightfully so. But of course, that would be way too simple for a saw trap. In Saw 3, Jeff, aka slow ass motherfucking Jeff, has to go through an entire warehouse of traps where he has to decide whether to forgive the people who either caused his son's death or were involved somehow. And one of them is really more gross than violent. If you're eating, just keep eating. The trap is called the pig vat. The judge who gave the driver who ran over Jeff's kid only six months in prison is tied to the bottom of a large metal tub. Then pigs are dropped into an industrial shredding machine and the foul juices run into the tub, slowly drowning the guy. And there are maggots crawling out of the pigs. You don't remember me. Jeff needs to decide whether he wants to save a human being or his son's teddy bears, and apparently it's pretty close. The guy is already spitting up pieces of pig, but finally Jeff decides to burn his son's belongings and rescues the judge. I mean, can you just imagine the smell? Saw 3, the rack. This brings me to another trap from Saw 3, and it's almost the last one in that movie. The rack is arguably the most painful trap in the entire franchise. Here we have Timothy, the driver who ran over Jeff's son. He's stuck in a machine that has a turning mechanism connected to each one of his limbs, including his head. Jeff has to retrieve a key tied to a shotgun in order to stop the torture device. Like with every other trap in this movie, Jeff walks around for about a half hour thinking about what to do. Meanwhile, the judge who was saved in the pig vat is telling Jeff to help him. Eventually, Jeff makes up his mind and goes to get the key. Of course, he doesn't want to blow his arm off, so he's carefully trying to tie the key loose from the gun. This takes some time, and while Jeff is figuring out how to not get the gun to fire, we can already see and hear the machine in action. Tim's arms and legs are slowly twisted off, and it doesn't sound pleasant. After an eternity, Jeff gets the key only for the gun to fire into the judge's face. So the toys that were burned in the previous trap were burned for nothing. And why does the judge stand in the firing line of the I I can't. Anyway, the worst part is that Jeff doesn't even manage to save Tim. He tells him that he forgives him for killing his son, but Tim is already dead. Jeff, please, for the next time that you're in a saw trap, because you deserve it for not being able to save anyone despite genuinely trying, make up your mind a little bit quicker. Saw 5, The Pendulum Trap. This one isn't even really a jigsaw trap, it just happens to appear in the movie. In Saw 5, we start off with an extremely complex trap. Seth Baxter, who is part of the local scum, wakes up tied to a table, I think, and gets the message that because he killed someone and received some very light sentencing due to a technicality, he will have to go through some other form of justice. There is a massive blade that will start swinging, and unless Seth puts his hands and the crushing devices on his side, the blade will slice him open. Now one reason for why this trap made the list is because it's completely rigged. Seth does put his hands in the vise and they do get crushed, but the blade doesn't stop and he gets sliced like deli meat anyway. Some of the saw traps are a lot nicer and end you right away so there's no suffering, but for this one you'll be conscious the entire way through I think. By the way, I really appreciate just how insane this trap is. How much welding did it take to build this entire construct? I mean most torture dungeons are a lot simpler, but this one had a lot of engineering put into it. By the way, towards the end we see that Hoffman was behind this murder and he's in this hilarious looking jacket. I don't know why, but it seems like the least fitting article of clothing. If I were in this trap and would be cut open and then Hoffman would come in wearing that, I would still laugh at him. Saw 3, the angel trap. Now we're getting to another trap from Saw 3. I think it's the last one on this list from that movie. Man, this one really had quite a few crazy moments. And look, it's another rigged trap. Of course, it's the angel trap for Alice and Carrie. This one is pretty evil because of how it was rigged. 
First of all, Carrie is at home and slowly figures out that she's not alone. And this scene is terrifying enough. But then she gets kidnapped and wakes up, strapped to a weird contraption connected to a rib cage. She's told that she's just too good of a detective. These ones always get me, whether it's with Detective Tap in the first movie or with Carrie or Strum. Whenever the Jigsaw killers are too close to getting caught, their justification is always, you're way too obsessed with your work, man. What a workaholic. Seriously, tone it down. I mean, they can't tone it down because they just get murdered every time, but anyway. Carrie is told to get a key from a large speaker full of highly corrosive acid. Otherwise, her ribcage will be pulled apart by the machine. Why doesn't the acid eat through the metal? Carrie puts her entire arm in there and manages to fish out the key. The acid begins eating away at her, but it's worth the sacrifice, right? Right? You know how this ends. Wrong. The key doesn't even work and the trap goes off anyway. Even worse is that I'm pretty sure that this wouldn't instantly kill you. Much like with the pendulum trap, you would be alive for this entire experience. Saw 5, The Glass Coffin. Talking about jigsaw traps that are an absolute scam, the Glass Coffin. In Saw 5, Peter Strom, an FBI agent on the verge of exposing Hoffman as one of the Jigsaw killers, is lured into a trap. He goes into a house and in the basement is a mysterious room with a transparent coffin. Inside is a tape that Strom begins listening to, and the information contained in it is very confusing. It states that Strom should trust Jigsaw and go inside the coffin. Only that will be his ticket to safety. Then Hoffman comes in and they get into a fight and Strom beats Hoffman into the coffin and closes it. But this was a mistake. See, it should have been Strom who goes in there because what happens next is that the walls start closing in and slowly crush Strom as the box is safely lowered into the ground. I think this trap, just from a behind the scenes perspective, is one of the coolest. What's truly awful is how slowly Strom gets crushed. He tries climbing up to the metal grates, but then his arm gets split in half. When you see what's left of him in Saw 6, you'll know exactly why I included this trap. But, and I just want to say this because a bunch of people disagreed with me on this when I first brought it up in the How to Beat Saw 5 video, there is no way that Strom was going to get out of this room alive. If he would have gone in there like, okay, let's get into the coffin, Hoffman would never let him walk out of this house alive. Either way, he would have lost. I think that Hoffman perhaps anticipated some of his actions, but I don't care what anyone says, there is a 0% chance that he'd spare Strom. Saw 4, the scalping seat. This is another one of those traps where you can just feel the pain a little bit. I mean, a lot of the time with these absurd traps, they're so over the top that you feel like you can't relate, but with this one, I don't know. This scalping seat is seen in Saw 4. Officer Rigg wakes up in his apartment and sees this contraption. Most annoying upstairs neighbor ever. I'm not sure if Rigg had a house or an apartment. On the wiki it says apartment, but I can't picture a guy walking up the stairs with this massive chair and all these construction lights. What would the neighbors think? Anyway, Rigg sees this trap where Brenda, a lovely lady of the night, is stuck. By the way, I like how in this scene there are still frames from Saw 2 hanging as pictures in Riggs' apartment. What happens is that Brenda's hair is tied to a winch, which periodically twists, eventually ripping her hair out. It takes Rig a long time to find out how this works, meaning that we do see her get scalped. And wow, it's one of the few traps that isn't fatal, but it's so painful to watch. Oh, and by the way, Rig ends up stopping the trap, but then Brenda starts attacking him because that's part of her game, and he ends up throwing her into a mirror and she likely dies. There are so many ways to beat this machine too. Like, bro, just shoot her hair. It's funny to think that if Rig just ignored the trap and would have noped out of there without even interacting with any of this, he could have saved her, because the trap is only activated once he starts touching it. Saw 2, the furnace. I don't think that this is a trap that many people would think of when it comes to the worst saw traps. In Saw 2, the son of detective Eric Matthews is stuck in a house slowly filling with a toxic gas. They have three hours to complete a few games to get the antidotes, but I don't think they complete any of them correctly. One of the earlier tests is the furnace. Abby, by the way, there's a construction store named after him here, so it looks like before his death he really turned his life around. So Abby needs to go into a furnace and get an antidote, but there's a second one in there. As soon as he grabs the X or syringe, the door to the furnace shuts and he can't get out anymore. Uh, 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 
being burned alive is one of the most painful things you can experience. At least one of the most painful things that's like halfway normal compared to these massive electric traps. What's worse is how long it takes for Abi to die. He's in this furnace forever until it's finally over. I think that one of the issues in Saw 2 is that none of the characters treat the gas house like what it is. It's much more of a puzzle maze than a torture dungeon. I've talked about this in my How to Beat Saw 2 video, but every trap had a really easy solution if they would have thought about it more carefully. Well, maybe all except for Saw 2, the needle pit. This one remains one of the most traumatizing things that I've ever seen in a movie. Even though it's not nearly the bloodiest trap, the needle pit perfectly demonstrates the panic and adrenaline that the people are feeling. The trap, originally meant for Xavier, is a pool in the floorboards filled with used needles. On the bottom is a key to a door with an antidote, but he's not really feeling it. He doesn't want to go in there, so he throws Amanda in there and it's quite a long drop. Especially if you have a fear of needles, which is quite common, this one will always be up there as one of the worst ones. Here you can really see how all the other people are just so relieved that it wasn't them that was thrown in there. Even though they don't condone Xavier's actions, they'd rather have Amanda in there than themselves. And hey, I feel the same way. But seriously, how many STDs does Amanda get here? We may never know. The doctors are still counting on that one. The only thing that really helped me get over how disturbing this trap is, is actually the behind the scenes of Saw 2. When you see how this trap was made, it's actually really impressive and quite cool. So that's it with the most evil Saw traps. I'm really excited for the next Saw movie. I hope we'll get some more awesome traps and hey, maybe I'll make a video on that one too. I will see it the day it releases. Anyway, I hope you liked it and that I get to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.